everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, back with another episode of One Take Testing, the show in which I attempt to show off a deck, give you a sense of how it will play, and let you know my thoughts all in one singular take. We're on a, we're on take one. No, 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 we're on take one. Uh, that last one doesn't count. Today we are showing off a deck from X69420, the individual behind Shark Paleo, the individual behind the Bee Trooper list that you saw last week, and an individual with a new list for us today. At this point, this person could probably sue for partial ownership of my channel. That's a joke. Don't do that. Today they have brought to the table this, a deck that we are going to affectionately call Troop Dupe Scoop, uh, in more ways than one. Uh, we have got a lot going on here. Uh, basically, a an admission that the last time that uh, Frog was really good was when Grass was legal. And what does Grass do? Well, Grass mills cards off the top of your deck. You know what else mills cards off the top of your deck? Card Trooper Puss Machine Duplication and Needle Bug Nest. It may not be the dupe that you are familiar with, but this deck is playing double the dupe, and hopefully we will get double the scoops. The other thing interesting about this deck is that it's playing Rise to Full Height. Now, Rise to Full Height is a card that I am shocked anyone is considering in this day and age. Uh, you target a monster on the field, double its defense, its defense becomes zero at the end of the turn, you can banish it from your graveyard, then target a monster you control. Your opponent's monsters cannot attack for the rest of the turn except to attack that monster. If you are incidentally milling cards... You can use Rise to Full Height either to target a monster that is not named Dupe Frog, or to target a monster that you intend to tribute with Totally Awesome, to basically Waboku from your graveyard. A great way to get advantage out of a card that otherwise would just be rotting. Everything else pretty much makes sense. We're maxed out on Morella because of the Rise to Full Height and the Lost Winds. The Pot of uh, Prosperity is of course very powerful, and Reasoning is in here as well. Even if they call the Reasoning right, you're just binning a Ronin Toten, so you're pretty happy about it otherwise. That is going to be it for the list. I'm going to jump into US West Casual hosting as MBT with the password sus amogus imposter. And uh, the first one to get in is going to be able to take a bite out of the champ. Are we okay with X69420 providing the list and also being the player? Uh, I don't think so, unfortunately. See ya! There is someone in Spectator, but uh, my viewers are not really smart enough to click duel. Alright, sniping MBT, I gotcha. Get in here, let's play a game. And the first thing we do, we go to mute opponents, and uh, now we don't have to worry about it. And of course, because they are sniping, there is no way we're ever going to win RPS. Well, they're thinking a long time about if they want to go rock, paper, or scissors. Hmm. Oh, wow, this is killer. Set one pass. Excellent. All right, we'll draw for turn. Let's begin with a copy of Reasoning. And what will our opponent pick, do you think? I think two is maybe the pick. Yeah. No, and there's a two. That was pretty fast, but we did get a lost one into the graveyard. Okay, next up is Pot of Prosperity. We're going to go for six. We don't really need the uh, extra deck at all here. Coral Anemone seems like an easy banish. This is totally awesome. Sky Cav, uh, the second Opabinia. Uh, Levier for sure, and one of the Zeus's. Nope. 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 Hmm. This is a thinker. I like the card trooper and I like the needle bug nest. I think I like the card trooper just a little bit more. All right, let's go ahead and normal summon that card trooper. We'll fire off the effect. God, it really does feel like we are back living in uh in the ancient ancient times. And we hit a back jack. Okay, this this list is unquestionably based. Metaverse. Oh. Okay. Cool. This is really awesome to to like 
snipe a, a streamer so you can show up uh, and uh, lose with Metaverse, you son of a gun. Don't ever show up in my streams ever again. Oh my god, what an idiot! We're gonna send the rise to full height like it matters. Uh, let's go for the uh, backjack as well. We couldn't activate the effect earlier because of the metaverse, but oh, a Morella? Perfect. And what can we do with that Morella? You bet your bottom dollar. We can activate a Morella here. And then from the graveyard, activate the Dynamicious we just sent. Uh, we'll use the Morella to bin from our deck a card that we really don't want to draw. The third copy of Rise to Full Height, which was the next card in our deck. Then we'll activate the Morella that we just set, activating the Morella in the graveyard as well. Uh, we'll bring that bad boy out. And we will send... Oh, it doesn't really matter. How about the Lost Wind? All right. Liking the way this has turned out so far. Ooh, and a two. Perfect. Let's go for the Card Trooper. We'll mill three. No Ronin. That kind of sucks. We're going to overlay for... Totally Awesome. We're going to normal summon a dupe frog. We are going to overlay for a second totally awesome. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to do lethal. I think we're just a little bit off. Yeah, we need one more. Uh, one more if we want to do a... Silly access code lethal. Could do rise into anomaly Karis. Well, if we're not going to kill them this turn, let's play it a little safe. We'll go Opabinia. Summon this bad boy. We're going to activate the effect of Opabinia. Uh, we're going to grab ourselves a, um, uh, Oleonades. And then we can, uh, go to combat. Uh, we're going to do just about 4,000. And then we're going to go to main phase two. We'll go downward magician and Zeus. Then we're going to set one and pass it back to our opponent. Standby phase will activate the effect of totally awesome. Go ahead and grab ourselves the remaining dupe frog. Come on. Sniping MBT. Come on. No, I want to see what you've got. You queued up a deck specifically to snipe me? Oh, great. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's exactly what I want to see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me back the Swap Frog, dingbat. <sighs> okay, no big deal. Mystic Mine is not a problem for me. Yeah, no, no, no. Show me what, show me what the plan is. Show me what the plan is. Ooh, end phase. That's not going to be enough. We're going to oleonades this bad boy at end step, then activate in the graveyard one of our 15 paleos. And what is next for our heroes? Well, don't worry. This game is massively over. All right, we'll draw for turn. I'm going to normal swap frog, and that should be it. We'll trigger the effect of the swap frog. We'll send a copy of Ronin Tonin to the graveyard. And now that Ronin Tonin is in circulation, there is basically no way we can lose. We have 15 of these bad boys. Let's go for a uh, totally awesome. Uh, we'll summon it here. Uh, and uh, let's go for, oh, I don't know, a Ronin Tonin banishing a swap frog from graveyard. 
We'll use the Swap Frog and the Paleozoic Canadia to go into a Phoenix. Uh, we can go from Phoenix into Unicorn like this. And then we can activate Ronin Toten one more time in the graveyard, banishing one more frog so we can make access code talker. We'll trigger the effect uh, doing that. And it's unfortunate we are just one material away from being able to use every single card in our extra deck. Shame. As is, we're going to banish the Ronin Toad and summon it back out and proceed to combat. Ugh. That's actually really shocking that they didn't want to rematch. Uh, so this deck is cool as hell. Um, I think that it's extremely sick. Uh, definitely one of the things that uh, Paleozoic Frog has been missing recently is a way to keep up with decks that just have this insane inevitability. I know that this deck isn't particularly good right now, but Eldritch is a perfect example of how in order to be uh, compatible with a metagame where every deck can do their play every turn, you have to have your own play that you can accomplish every turn, and Paleozoic Frog kind of stumbles at doing that, especially through negates. Needlebug Nest, uh, Card Trooper and Machine Duplication are a great way to go over the top of some of those decks, put out really explosive turns that you can threaten anytime you find any of your Millers, and theoretically, Rise to Full Height is very good as well. However, uh, I would like to use the remainder of this one-take testing to uh, let you all know that if you ever show up to any of my streams sniping me with a Mystic Mind deck, you're banned, buddy! You are banned forever! I'm gonna find your account, I'm gonna ban you on all of your alts, I'm going to submit your deck list to the FBI so they can take a look at it, and buddy, you're not winning the game. Thank you.